So today I watched a feature and a short, uh, both from the same writer-director, Jenny Lamarque. She made a film a couple years ago uh, called The Pretty One that I really enjoyed. I think it was 2014. So um, about a year or two ago, she I think it was two years ago, she was doing a Kickstarter for her second feature called The Feels, and it was about um, a lesbian bachelorette party and a woman who's never had an orgasm, and I was like, I'm going to back this film. So I donated some money, and um, we actually had streaming. My perk was like streaming um, for it, and I didn't notice that I had gotten it. So um, lo and behold, I found the film on Netflix. Um, the streaming perk was like in March. It's now on Netflix, so oops. Um, but anyways, it's on Netflix, so you can watch it. Um, but part of the perk was also streaming for her um, short film that played at Sundance the year before, uh, or two years before, um, the pretty one. So that one was called Spoonful. So I actually watched that second because I went on Kickstarter and discovered that it was a perk that I had. So there you have it. So Spoonful, it's a short, it's about 10 minutes, and it's about three sisters who are packing up their parents' house after their father dies, and it's clear that their mother had died earlier. Um, and the older of the sisters is having um, hyperlactation that she thought she wouldn't have anymore because she thought her child had been weaned, and so she's having really painful, engorged boobs. Meanwhile, her um, siblings are not being all that helpful with packing up the house. This leads to an interesting conclusion. Uh, I don't really want to spoil it. Hopefully you can find this film. Um, Cause I'll be able to see it somehow. I don't know. It's a delightful, weird uh, family short, which is exactly her style. It really, uh, they say, you know, a lot of times your first big short should be your uh, calling card for what you, the kind of films you want to make as a, a feature filmmaker. So that's what they told me in film school. And um, that when I showed them all the weird shorts I wanted to make, they were like, you're in the wrong film school. So um, that's just me. This definitely sets the tone for her other two films. Um, I really liked The Pretty One. It stars Zoe Kazan. You should definitely check that one out. Which brings us to The Feels. Feels it was co-written by Lauren Parks, who um, I believe is one of Lamarque's best friends. She um, was credited as an assistant on um, The Pretty One and... Uh, miscellaneous on uh, Spoonful, so, and now she's a writer and actress in this. And it's got about 10 people in the cast. The leads are Constance Wu and um, Angela Trimber as Andy and Lou, this couple that are getting married and they're going on this bachelorette weekend with their friends, most of which are Andy's friends. Um, Lou is waiting for her, she brought her one friend, and then she's waiting for her sister to show up. The sister causes some um, drama. I don't want to spoil it. And um, there's other drama mixed up when they discover that Lou has been faking all of her orgasms literally the whole time she was with Andy and with everyone else that she's ever been with. And this causes um, them to sort of reconsider how much they know each other and how much they trust each other. And um, it kind of hits a lot of the um, sort of indie friend reunion drama, you know, moments. Um, it made me think of a similar film, not a similar film in, in plot, but a similar film in mechanism. Um, the uh, Intervention, Clea Duvall wrote and directed a few years ago. Um, that one's really good as well. Everyone's charming. It's just a lot of, of friends talking, which you, you have to like the friends that are talking in order to like a film about friends talking. Fortunately, I liked all of these friends, and I enjoyed their conversations. Um, everyone had a rapport with each other, and everyone felt like they'd been friends for a long time, probably because they were all played by friends. Constance Wu clearly had a little bit more star power than everyone else. That's why she's a big star. Um, she's about to blow up with Crazy Rich Asians. Can't wait to see that. Um, but really, I enjoyed that this was a film about queer people where the queerness really wasn't the main part of the film even though they were about to get married it could have been anybody getting married and having the same issue um I also liked that uh um they really talked frankly about sexuality without ever being um that's what I'm looking for uh like needlessly explicit it was it was more like just true if that makes sense 
Um, so I enjoyed it. It was nice. Uh, it was up in wine country, so it was a nice uh, visually. And um, I believe almost the entire crew was women. Like the, I know the the uh, DP and the editor and and everything were were women, um, which is always nice. So, you know, just hire women. They can do the same stuff men can in terms of filmmaking. Only they can sometimes add extra layers because there have been less of them, and so they get, you get a point of view that is less represented in my opinion. Um, so I enjoyed this film. So if you don't have Netflix, you can rent it on almost every VOD platform. Um, if you do have Netflix, it is on Netflix. And I'm not sure how you can find Spoonful um, because that was a Kickstarter perk, but, um, you know, reach out to Jenna Lamarque. Maybe she'll let you watch it. I don't know. Um, I enjoyed this. So this was The Feels and Spoonful, both by Jenna Lamarque. And um, I enjoyed them both. And I also like her other film, The Pretty One. You should check them all out. She's an interesting filmmaker. I wish she didn't have to kickstart her film. I wish they would actually back films like these. We need more films like these. We need more representation for lesbians, women who like women, women talking about sex. It's great. We need more of it. Kick, you know, like, stop having to kickstart these kind of movies. And also just give Jenny Lamarque some money, damn it. Like... I like her point of view. Okay, have a good Sunday. Everyone should be watching Pose. It's on FX. It's really good. It's Pose Sunday. Have a good night.